is up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. They're all running together right now. And it's not just me, because y'all are stuck at home as well. So they're all kind of running together. So anyway, I promised y'all a week full of streams. And uh, today's didn't go quite how I planned. Uh, the original plan was to do, as you guys know, uh, the original plan was to do the King's Dilemma. Me and y'all, or kind of me versus y'all. Wasn't going to work out. Poor planning on my part, so my apologies to everybody on that. But I did say we would have Tuesday through Saturday streams. So here we are. How y'all doing today? Uh, it's cold. It's been rainy and nasty. We had a thunderstorm the other night that was just like biblical thunderstorm. It was, it was impressive. Anyway, bring that closer. There we go. All right. So the interesting thing is, is it's the end of the month, right? And usually the last day of the month and the first two days of the month are terrible for me collectively because of that. Any of y'all out there that run Patreon campaigns or, you know, have Patreon, you, you understand the end of the month, people quit. So they don't get charged for the new month. And then credit cards don't go through. So that number drops by like 20. And you're like, ah. and so you never know whether or not they're going to renew. And I forgot that it was the end of the month until I had to look at what day it was. I was like, ah, all right, not going to look at Patreon for the next week, basically. So there's that. All right. Taco Tuesday. I like where your head's at, Christos. All right. So. Banker Dave says it's 70 in Denver. Someone moved. Anyway. So what are we going to do today? Well. I, since we couldn't stream the game that I planned on streaming, but I promised y'all we would do a stream. I was like, what do I do? Do I do a game I've already done? Do I do something? I'm not going to be able to learn a game in time. Uh, what do I do? Then it occurred to me that I haven't done one of these literally in years. So what I used to do uh, on Twitter, on Heavy Cardboard's Twitter, is when work was hello slow, I would play a little, hey, name the game thing on Twitter, just to have fun with, with followers and, and whatever, and it was just a good way to kill a couple hours of time. Well, I realized, you know what? I have a YouTube channel now. Why don't we bring it to y'all? That'd be a lot of fun. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. But there's going to be giveaways. And I thought about doing this. There's a lot of games. This took a lot of time to put together. So I apologize for it being delayed, especially for all the folks in Slack. Um, I, I said we'd get started about 3, 3.15. It was close. Like geologically speaking, it was simultaneous right when I said it would be. Eh, my bad. Uh, so it took longer than I expected to put it together because I none of the pictures I'm using are mine. So I wanted to give credit to everybody that took pictures. So somewhere on the picture, usually towards the bottom, is credit for whoever took the picture. Uh, it's their BGG username. So that's where I get all these from. So thank you to all of them. Uh, so there's that. Uh, oh, hey, we're off to a good start. Really, we are, I promise. There we go. Brad, what's up? Cheers. By the way, one of the patrons got me this mug. It's literally my mug has my name on it. So, you know, playing better. I appreciate that. So, thank you, Brad. Thanks for supporting the show, man. Appreciate that. Adam lives. I see it. All right. Cool. Anyway, so we're going to go through and we're going to do a giveaway. And by a giveaway, I have, I don't know. Somewhere in the neighborhood of like five to eight games I'm going to be giving away. Uh, I decided how to do this, but I'm not going to do it until the end of the show. How do you guys are going to have to enter? So you guys are going to have to watch this. I'm going to keep this open. So today is Tuesday the 31st. 
Screw it. I'm going to keep it open until Saturday night at 8 p.m. Okay, so Saturday is the 4th till 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And I'm going to draw the names on Sunday for all the winners. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys what it is you need to be able to do to enter it. But I will say, remember the word stampede. That's all I'm going to say about it. Okay? All right. All right. Let's get into it, uh, shall we? So here's how this is going to work. I am not going to bring chat up on the window because if you're watching this after the fact, chat's going to be down below, but it's not going to be right here on the screen because I figure people are going to call out the answers, which is fine. That's okay. That's part of the fun. It should be a community thing. Um, if you don't want to see what the answers are and you want to legitimately try, don't read chat. But I'm not going to have it on the screen. I'll be on screen, but the chat won't be on screen, okay? It'll still be down below in the scroll because I don't edit these after the fact so that you guys can actually follow along with the chat. But in this one, kind of defeats the purpose. Anyway, so if y'all are ready, call out the answers if you want. You don't have to be first. It's not going to be, oh, did I get them all right? Because I'll be honest, none of y'all are going to get all these right. And if you do, who are you, me? Um... Seriously, I don't think anybody will. But at the end of this, be honest. It's an integrity thing. It's, a, it's, you know, it's like solo games. You know if you cheated. So tell me how many of these at the end you got right, okay? Without looking at chat, okay? Now, I know them because I put this together. Plus, I picked the game, so there's that. How did I pick the games? Uh, either... Some are gimme, some are pretty easy, some are Golden Elephant Award winners, some are pretty esoteric games that I kind of wanted to highlight a little bit, and some just, it's a cool picture. It's that simple, all right? Jonathan says, I get an odd sense of joy from guessing these sort of things. See, exactly, you get it, man. That's what this is talking about. And Christopher, geologically simultaneous sounds like the name of a real-time variant for erosion in old Sierra Madre game. Not in this. Or is it? Hmm. Hey, Asher. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Glad to see you updated in Slack. Thanks, man. Glad to hear you're doing all right. <laughs> JT. Crap, I always uh, cheat at solo games. Ah, that's all right. Don't cheat now, all right? I'm catching up. Let's see. Oh, shh. Sparkles. Oh, I did not see this. Adam. Oh. Wow. Suffering from COVID. Hey, dude. Hey, if there's anything I can do, Adam, let me know. Okay? I'm serious. All right? Just rest, drink fluids, take it easy, and good luck. All right? Um, yeah, seriously, if you need anything, man. All right? But hopefully the distraction helps. All right? So... All right. Um, right. Let's get to it. <laughs> There's a more interesting version of what game did I punch? Maybe. Some of these are going to be gimmies. Some of these are not. There is nothing terribly tricky about this. Um, they had to be existing pictures on BGG because, again, I wasn't going to break out all these games. I own most of these. I, I might own them all. I'm not sure. I'll let you know. No, I know for a fact there's one I don't, too, that I don't own that I really want to. Um, what else? Uh, there was one other thing. Oh, I tried not to include pictures that had a whole lot of, like, custom-made, you know, things about the game. Like, uh, Jeff's version of Terraforming Mars wasn't going to be featured in this because that's not standard. Now, there might be some non-standard pieces in the game, uh, in the picture, but it made up for it being a good picture. Um, and I will try and highlight those as best I know uh, on those, okay? But for the most part, I tried to keep it true to the game. I tried to make it not impossible to be able to guess the game, but difficult on some, obvious on others. And I think that's it. And you know what? You guys, you guys are all right today, man. Ryan, cheers. P 
Peter, my postman, what up? 16 more minutes, you got this, Peter. All right. Yeah, for, yeah, he and I lament uh, how stupid people are. At a distance, we talk, because social distancing, just saying. All right, anyway, enough stalling, let's get to it, shall we? All right, remember, guess out loud if you want, okay? Um, but be nice to one another, all right? And it's not a race, remember that. We're going to talk, I'm in no rush, I got nowhere to be. I got a pre-play of that. Andrew's coming over tonight, so we can do it. Again, social distancing. He hasn't been around anybody. I haven't been around anybody. If we get anybody sick, it's going to be within our houses. We're okay. I promise. All right. So that said, easy there, Chad. Let's not start that rumor. All right. Here we go. Hi. All right. Yeah. See the scroll up there? Because most of the credits for the pictures are down at the bottom of the pictures, so I didn't want to cut those off. So here we go. <gasps> Good luck, everybody. Have fun with this. It's supposed to be fun. Remember the word I said. You'll need it at the end. Here we go. First one. It's a gimme. I understand, but I wanted to start you guys off with something easy. All right? So I may or may not give clues about all these. It may or may not have... Let's put it this way. The designer is not... He goes to LyriaCon. The designer, I don't believe, is officially a part of Spiel Portugal. Although he's friends with all of them. So there's that. All right. So I'm trying to build your confidence here. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. It seems like... It seems like most of y'all have figured this one out. We'll move on. All right. Yeah, no, Rocky. That's not happening. <laughs> All right. So we'll move on to the next one. All right. I need to make sure I do it. So we're going to do this one at a time because there's different size pictures. So here we go. Next one. Also. Pretty much a, a softball. Like, I'm teeing it up for y'all to just... Out the park. Easy. Call your shot. Not hard. Okay? All right? Now, you're going to notice... Um, so, so, there is at least one, one picture here from Steph. Uh... uh, uh, uh God, Punkin is her BGG username. Uh, all the uh, meeples of the rainbow, all the colors, meeple, yeah. yeah. If you're familiar with her blog on BGG, the one whose artwork or whose photos that I use the most is definitely this guy's. I've never met him, but I imagine he still goes to Essen. And if Essen happens this year, if Spiel does, I would love to meet him. He takes amazing artwork, as does Steph, as do a lot of these people. Uh, Hank Rollman, or Rollman. Um, he does a lot of really, really nice uh, pictures on BGG. Also, there's, a, I'll be honest, I know a, a good portion of the people that have taken these pictures. And so, hey, there we go. All right. Oh, some of y'all are getting fancy with the original name. Oh, look at y'all go. All right. Nice. This is fun. I get to watch the chat and not have to worry about it being on screen. This is kind of fun. Oh, oh, who, who get, who's, who, who is the show off in class? Hey, Jeff, that's you, huh? And Paul, not just the game, but what particular variant of the game? Um, no, I, I, I know there's at least one from Steph. It's just because the game's in the picture. So it just, okay. So, yeah. So props to everybody whose pictures I use. Like I said, I had to edit in their name down at the bottom of all these, okay? So that's what took me forever uh, to, to put that on all the pictures to give everybody credit, all right? So there we go. All right, so we're good on that. We can move on. Next one, another toss-up. I'm just trying to build up a false sense of security 
for all of you. Now, I realized after the fact that this is actually of a prototype of it, but you're still going to be able to figure out the game, I think. So. Oh, Adam's like, uh, apparently on a three second delay. Yeah, Adam, I, I should have taken that off for you. I specifically had a three second delay for you. So my bad, I apologize, just because having COVID is not bad enough, I wanted to kind of add to your plate. No, totally. Trying to make you laugh, bro. All right. I love that some of y'all, a fair bit, a fair number of y'all know each other in chat. That, that's awesome. All right. Now, the question is, can you spell it correctly? And can you say it correctly? Yeah, I can't even say correctly, correctly. Really? It's tea, really, I promise. It's not bourbon, I promise, or gin. Yeah, Sammy, oh, this one's hard to spell. See, see? Oh, Meeple Overboard showing off with the, with the, uh, the, the uh, like, subtitle of it. I can't say it, let alone spell it. I, I get that. How many of these games have you streamed? Uh, all of them so far. Not all of them will be included in that. All of them will be included on games I would like to stream, though. I think. All right. Teo T. Ah! Who tricked me on that one? That was meant at. You got me. Damn. All right. I Jonathan's uh, phone autocorrected this. The answer is always gin. Thank you. I've been told that gin. We're going to move on from that. All right. Yeah, I honestly didn't realize it was a prototype until uh, right before the stream. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to change this. So here we go. All right. Moving on. Next one. There are some things in this picture that do not come with the game. So if you were to purchase this game, do not expect to get everything that you see here. Okay. All right. It'd be cooler if it did, though. I mean, I'll be honest. The tea set over on the left-hand side, I mean, that looks pretty awesome. I mean, let's not, let's not even talk about the, you know, well, it's at least a scabbard. We don't know if there's a sword. Can't see it, but, I mean, yeah, right? All right, take care, Sammy. Rest well. By the way, I just saw um, another Adam's name in chat, and I'm going to butcher this, Adam, and I apologize, man, but is it Zawanik? Adam Zawanik? He is a superstar and does invaluable help on the channel. Uh, he's the one who does all the amazing timestamps for everything on all the videos. So, Adam, huge thank you, bro. Yeah, this is shh, Josh. Shh. This is fun. I'm enjoying it. I, I didn't realize this would be as much fun for me as it is. So <laughs> this one's easy to spell, Adam. Come on. Sound it out, and you can spell this one. All right. Oh, good question, York. I don't know what that. Ooh, maybe maybe you're right. I just assumed, but now that you mention it. So, Brianna says this is the game that causes the most table flips. I don't know. You should go back and watch a stream that I did last week. Almost got one. Legitimately almost got one. Caught me so unexpected. 
almost uh, almost ended the stream right there. Brad, just played this one recently for the first time with my son. That's awesome, man. All right. Oh, they will be, Peter. They will be. Don't worry. Just saying, uh, as far as if they're zoomed in. Oh, they, there will be some. Uh, Bob asks, uh, have I played any games online use, using Vassal? I've never used Vassal. I'm familiar with it. I just, I have such a hard time getting into on online implementations. But I'll be honest. If this goes on as long as people are uh, projecting it to go on, uh, looks like I'm going to be uh, doing some online stuff on, uh, on streams with some uh, patrons and stuff, as well as maybe designers and, you know, all that. So, yep. All right. Yes, Adam, that would be it. Snake Eyes, you are correct, sir. All right. <laughs> Brianna. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Here we go. Good job, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to say what Christos just said and others have said, but there we go. This one is not written. Good, Adam. I'm glad you've been able to... Uh, Get some things, take your mind off of stuff, man. Uh, Lee's Q asks, what are the rules? Um, be honest. Answer if you want. You don't have to get them all right, but if you start at the beginning, try without cheating and without reading chat, how many of these can you get right by the end of it? Uh, there's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 45 to 50 of these, just FYI. Okay. Sabin, I agree with you. Although there is a really good second one, but I won't say. Noted, Shaz. Thank you. So normally I, 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 an I read questions as well as answer them, but because... It may apply to what's on the screen. I'm trying not to do that. All right. That is not a standard setup here. Correct. This is a little bit more artistic interpretation of, uh, of the components, I think is good. All right. Noted Samuel. I, I catch him back up here. I appreciate it. Zach, I appreciate that. Episode 137. Go check it out and listen to this one. Good call. Noted, Chris. Okay. Talking about uh, online implementations. A few acres of snow, stuff like that. Okay. Again, these aren't my pictures, guys. I don't know. All right. Brianna, nope. All you have to do is hang out for the throughout the stream and uh, know the word that I said at the beginning, and we'll take it from there at the end of the stream. How to enter uh, for the giveaways? All right. Exactly. Adam says I was confused a minute by the setup here, but figured it out. There we go. So don't worry, everybody. Relax. Don't worry about the giveaways. Just relax and have fun with this. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Yellow is illegally placed. Checks out. You're right. <laughs> That's awesome. Like I said, I didn't expect this to be as much fun for me. Uh, Mick? No cheating. All right. All right, cool. We're good here. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumb down below. Also, uh, I did tweet about this one, this stream because it kind of replaced the official stream I was going to do earlier uh, earlier today. But there are occasional, like, pop-up streams that I do. So in order to be notified of those, either be a patron at the $5 and up level because you get access to Slack. So pledgehc.com for that. Or, or and, subscribe down below and hit the bell notification. That way whenever we go live, hey, guess what? 
Heavy Cardboard just went live. Oh, hey, they didn't announce this. Let me go check that out. There you go. All right. Good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad folks are having fun with this. All right. Uh, you know what? Sorry, guys. You guys are going to have to give me a second because now um, JMMC is requiring me to go translate something. I want peace. A lot of peace is better than chicken with salt. Yeah, I'll buy that. Sure, I'm in. Cool. I dig that. All right. Allergies, relax. That's all it is. Allergies. Okay. All right, here we go. Next one. <laughs> I like this. So my motivation app just sent me this. Fear less, hope more. Eat less, chew more. Wine less, breathe more. Talk less, say more. Hate less, love more. And all good things shall be yours. I like that. That was, oh, oh my, oh my. Wow. That was impressive to watch. So this is what it's like for those people that have thousands of people watching live, watching chat. Just, that was cool to watch. I've never seen that. I should do more popular games like this. <laughs> Sabin, that was funny, by the way. Murr, yes. Oh, I'll remember you said that, that these are too easy. I'll remember you said that, okay? First not streamed game. Let me look. Correct. Yet. A mess it is. Hmm, yes, Yoda. Hey, Uva. Wine less, beer more. No, 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 no. Beer less, wine more. Sorry. <laughs> Stored improperly. Oh, there's going to be one other. If you are CDO, i.e. OCD, but in the orders they're supposed to be. If you are uh, CDO, um, there's going to be one other that's going to just kill you then. Here. Don't like the discard pile? Ah, this is awesome. All right. Yeah, so I have a couple of, I have more than a couple, but there are definitely two people, uh, Shrey and Martin in particular, that are very, 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 very big fans of this game. And uh, when things get back to normal, i.e. my friends can come around, uh, we're going to, we're definitely going to be streaming this for you guys. All right. Rocky says, I'm having far more fun listening to Irene make up games for the pictures than I am anything else. I, okay, if that's the case, uh, Rocky, I want you to live comment on her guesses because that's going to be entertaining for me too. All right. Dagger less, clay more. Ooh, well done. <laughs> Eventually it gets to a level where it's just a green hex. Guess. That's funny. No, no. Oh, this is funny. Oh, I love you people. This is fantastic. No sleeves? It's cheap enough you could buy another copy if the cards run. Anyway. All right. You guys seem to have crushed this one. All right. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? There we go. This is Spanish for... I'm not going to make the joke. Never mind. Because they give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away. All right. Murr, first in the clubhouse. Although Adam, 
Adam is second and he has COVID. Adam wins that one. Sorry, Mer. Ooh, this one's not as quick as the last one. I mean, you guys are getting it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the that you guys did with the last one. So apparently it's getting marginally more difficult. Now, I do not have that. The first few were kind of seated. After, after a couple of these, though, they're kind of, some are harder, some are easier, etc. All right. Thank you, Drew. Thank you for making the joke for me. All right. Thank you. Chris's favorite Euro of all time. Excellent. Timon apparently likes this game more than he likes me. I know that's not what you meant, Timon, but that was funnier that way. So there you go. <laughs> Brianna, uh, you're going to... Mm, wasn't planning on using the Glory to Rome board. Don't make me break that out today. I see multi squares, spin the squirrel, spin the cubal. <laughs> this is, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hey, if you guys are a little bit delayed on this, refresh. Go ahead, I'll wait. Literally hit F5. I'll wait. Catch up, get to where it's live, and you should be good. Okay? All right. So, you guys have pretty much exhausted this one. <laughs> Brian says the, uh, the equine on the box looks way better with googly eyes. Everything looks better with googly eyes. All right. I think this is the first non-gimme. Honestly, I think so. I think you all will get it, but it's not a gimme. Yeah, uh, also, either refreshing or put it on double speed until you catch up, and I'm talking really, really fast then. I can't do that. So one of the biggest compliments I got about the podcast was the fact that I don't have much of an accent, and I enunciate very well for non-native English speakers. So that's kind of cool, all right? Interesting fact, Luke says, it stole the dial mechanic from Twister. Is that real? Is that? No, that's not real. Is that, Luke? Hey, Alex! Yep, it is your picture. And see the credit down just below the orange house and green cube on the bridge. There you go. So I did credit. Thank you, Alex. By the way, so I've never done this. So tell me, am I, am I crediting this stuff correctly? Because I tried. I mean, I made the effort to actually try and do this, so let me know. Legit, I'm curious, like, is this cool? Um, so. This is one we haven't streamed that I really want to. A lot. Honestly, Carmen from, uh, from Game Surplus, I would love to have on the stream. Probably unlikely to happen, but that would be like, I think with him and Matt, with Kliker, uh, those would be like my bucket list people to stream this with, I think. All right. Ugly house painting. Close. <laughs> Oh, okay, Peter. Sorry about that. All right. See, like some of these are not going to be like the, the hotness or super popular, but they're games that I wanted to highlight. So here we go. All right. 
Hey, Andrew. Right, that is you, Andrew, right? MF Mize. So it says the game is amazing. I think it's awfully good. Wait, we streamed this? In Denver? Really? Really? Oh, but I wasn't there. I was, I was on the big trip. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like, wow, really? Oh my. Okay. Brett, is there a reason you're not super into coin games? Uh, I haven't played a coin game in three or four years. Uh, so I want to, which I talked about during the Ask the Elephant. But the reason was, it was kind of a timing game in that it feels like you take your one shot and if you miss to win the game, then the world gangs up on you and you're crushed and you can't come back. That has been my experience, so that kind of tempered my enjoyment of it. But I'm looking forward to playing them again to, now that I've got a lot more experience under my belt with gaming, just in general, to see if, uh, see if I enjoy them more and see if I had that wrong. Good. Brianna says, this is so much fun. Thanks for doing this. I mean, might as well have some fun with this, right? Redo the Denver stream? I, yes. So, all right. I love it that her, the herd remembers your streams better than I do. Yes, Jonas. I, it's a lot of streams, man. I, I, I'll be honest. I struggle what I streamed last week. Somebody was like, oh, yeah. Um, so that game you played last week, and I look at them blank, like, no idea. All right. I, yep. I, okay. I was on the trip. Whew. Good. All right. Impressive, Christopher. All right. So. JT says we can fix your coin enjoyment at HeavyCon. I hope HeavyCon happens. <laughs> so far, so good. But Or so far, it's going. I don't know about so good part, but yeah. All right. Yeah, see, Murr gets it. People ask me what played earlier in the day, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I get that. All right. All right, cool. Let's move on, shall we? Next one. One of the ugliest games, boards in existence, but uh, fantastic game right here. If you're watching, give it a thumb down below, please. Or I guess maybe if you're watching this like on TV to the left, I guess, are where the thumbs are, or if yeah, I don't know if you're on mobile. Just, I'd appreciate it. All right, here, JT. There you go. Knocked on wood. Wow, that hurt. Okay. No, Gusarino, you are incorrect. Eric, not correct. Alex was close. PPK, we'll call that a win. How's that? Alan, no. <laughs> that is not beautiful. You know what? Artwork is subjective, but I think objectively this is just ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the publishers are friends of mine and they know they're not arguing, but this game is legitimately, in my opinion, fantastic. Really, really good game. Alex says, I bought this game totally blind. Is it from seeing the artwork? Did you? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I think it was the fourth or fifth game I ever bought. That's awesome. Have you played it since, Alex? I'm curious. Rocky, Jesus, heck. It's like sorry in life had a... Had a <laughs> Had a hate baby. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
And E says, two in a row on the shelf of unplayed. That's cool, Adam. Says, I bought the game while you were streaming it, and we played it at least six or seven times since then. Love the game. Good stuff. Making myself a games to checklist. That's the point of this. Kind of. And I have fun, obviously. But is it... Uh, Kafarnum? Is that how you say that? I really try hard to get y'all's aliases, na uh, your, your screen names right. Yikes, this board. Yep. But the game's worth it. If there's one game that I would say, if you enjoy investment games and cross-investing, and you like mechanisms more than you like both theme as well as artwork, blind buy it if you can get this for under 30 bucks, which a lot of times you could. I don't know if we, you can since we streamed it. But if you can, carte blanche. Yes. It's only a 6.7 rating on BGG. Just goes to show. People aren't always right. I'm not always right. I am in this one, though. <laughs> Art is subjective. We're definitely being subjected to this. So there you go. Cool, Alex. Good deal. All right. Yes, I nailed Capernaum. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoop, whoop. Murr says, uh, Capernaum, don't make a, a games to check out list. Edwards cost me several hundred dollars since the, all this shelter in place stuff has started. I just did a $200 order yesterday. Let me ask you though, any of these games you don't think you're going to like? See, I get accused a lot of making people buy games. No, I would like to be accused of preventing you from buying games that you won't like. That's all I'm saying. All right. All right. So there we go. That one is done. This next one should be another softball for you guys. This is a non-standard piece. The thing that is front and center. So, but everything else is part of the game. Okay. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I would call it out whenever that was the case, and I thought it was a really cool picture, so I wanted to include it. Oh, of course not. It's still your fault. Thanks, Mark. Do you get credit if you know the game and can't remember the name? I would say keep two tallies. The I knew the name of the game and the I knew the game, but I couldn't quite. All right. I'm waffling on Frosthaven. Good news. I don't have it, so we're, we're not going to be able to help you on that. I saved the top 50 list on my phone, then it spiraled downwards. You're welcome, Jonas. All right. Christo says, uh, 1942, USS Yorktown. I never would have looked at that before the stream. That's awesome. Good. I'm glad I could help uh, turn you guys on to some games. Shad, Shad says, if you want to prevent us from buying games we don't like, start streaming games we don't like. I mean, some of them. There are games that I'm not super keen on. You still stream them. Welcome back, Paul. Glad you get back on the horse. Drew, it's with a K, not a C. Spoons bread and anger. I like that. I think that's the subtitle of this game. It's the title Spoons, Bread, and Anger. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to text Clay that right now. Moment. just called the name of the game. I won't mention what it is. Spoons, 
bread and anger. All right, there we go. We'll see if he responds. That's funny. All right, take care, Matt. Thanks for hanging. Take care of the dogs. Luke says, I will put my hand up and says, I've purchased zero games I don't like since discovering heavy cardboard. Just saying. Mission accomplished, Luke. Australia in the house. <laughs> now people are like, I need that first player marker. <laughs> All I have is blurry everything, not spinny thing. I love you, Irene. This is, this is great commentary. This is fantastic. Net Wilk, yours is another expensive channel. My bad, my bad. But I'm saving you money on games that you're gonna have to get rid of. Found it, mini spinning wheel, $15 on Etsy. All I ask is you link to this when you, if you order it, cause that's hysterical. Cause they're gonna be like, why the hell am I getting all these orders all of a sudden? That's all I ask, link to this, because that's funny. Alexander says, this is the very top of a large collection for me. Only thing I blame HC for purchasing is jeweler's trays and tiny vacuums. Like you just go around and vacuum up your table? I know you mean the pin suction cups, but I'm just picturing, now I'm picturing, uh, who said that, uh, Timon, like going around on his table with a little miniature vacuum and getting all the dust up. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Sabin says, good work describing how supply and demand works in this game. Uh, you made it much easier to learn than I thought it was going to be. Awesome, man. Glad to hear it. I like that, Drew. Well done. Dragon says, uh, I will actually thank you for making me buy this game. I wasn't sure uh, that the wife would say going full version of the game. Afterwards, I asked, what'd you think? She said, I loved it. Yes. That's awesome. This game is clearly Rumpelstiltskin, Age of Loom. Nice. All right, let's move on, shall we? Oh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Now, before we go to the next one, I want one disclosure. One of the components that is shown in this game is the wrong thing to use. Hard stop, flat out, hard stop. Okay? Okay. The train sucker pen, the vac pen. I like that. All right. Fred, that, that, that probably is going to happen next week. Probably. Joe, I did. I served on two carriers. I served on the USS America on our final cruise. Oh, that was a misery cruise. I'll tell you about that sometime if you want. And uh, then... Uh, the TR, Theodore Roosevelt. I did the first one with VMFA 251 and the second one with VMFA 312. Okay. Patrick, got this for Christmas, still haven't got it to the table. Currently my only game on my shelf of shame. A, well done with only one on your, on your shelf there. Um, two, play it. Just match up the game with the map. We, we will accept that as the correct answer, uh, Jonas and Adam. That, that is a correct answer, yes. And Drew, you are correct. Eric, Yep, you had a 50-50 shot on what it would be. You are 100% correct. Both, both are the wrong components. And Brian knew what it was going to be. <laughs> Good 
Cruz Arena. <laughs> The trolley problem. <laughs> oh. Someone said we get a pick of a green hex. <laughs> There's one no scoring line. You are correct. Well done, Brian. Well done. <laughs> nice, Gusarino. That's awesome, Brianna. Who's to say there are any, Saban? We don't know. We'll see. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I'm having fun, too. So, excellent. Why is that, Christopher? All right. You guys have uh, crushed this one. Here we go. Next one. Ready? On the count of three. Three. This one's going to be tougher. Far from impossible, because there's still a lot of info here. But this one's tougher. And this absolutely is going to be streamed once people are available to stream. You're welcome, Eric. I'm glad to hear the uh, Seki Gohara playthrough help, man. Matt, that's funny. Wrong component, but judging by the player color, they must be winning. Probably, yeah. Oh, Christopher, fair enough. That makes sense. Okay. Not correct, Scott. Ah, uh, Netwilk, sort of. Ooh, Adam stumped him. Oh, wow, we're stumping a, a bunch of y'all. Nope, Thomas. Meeple versus Wild. <laughs> wow, this is stumping a bunch of y'all. All right. Yeah, not, not a game that I ever want to play two-player. This, this honestly is best at four or five players, this game right here. Um, definitely one that we're going to be streaming because I've broken it out a couple times at game day and everybody loved this one. Um, all right. Yeah, no, no, no. A number of folks got it, but a number of folks didn't. I think this is the first one that's stumped a fair number of y'all. Ooh. Pax Himalayas. <laughs> Not enough cards. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Not Gates of Loyang, correct. Correct that it's not that. Never even heard of this one. Oh, Michael. Michael, next time you can come around and we have four or five of us, we need to bust this out because I, I, people are going to enjoy this. Um, it can be super, super nasty. Um, doesn't have to be, but can be. Nice. All right. Good. That was a good one. 
Hey, yeah, uh, it's not here, Luke, and unfortunately, what we had planned. The question is, I don't know if I should let the cat out of the bag. If the person that was going to uh, really, really help with uh, tomorrow's stream, which isn't happening, tomorrow's stream of uh, Escape uh, Tales is happening, but what we originally were planning on doing isn't happening. Um, if that person joins us today uh, in chat before it's over, uh, if he thinks we ought to talk about it, then we will do so. But if not, then we won't. So, all right. Murr, I hear it's a great game if you play it correctly. There you go. Hey, Chisholm. <laughs> Chris says, pretty sure the only reason I got this was because you tweeted a pic of it. Never played, never seen, and I thought, wait, how do I know that? Yeah, we need to, we need to stream this one for sure. This is a really, really good game. All right. Cool. All right, let's move on. Next one. There we go. With the most ridiculous turn around marker in the history of board gaming, I think. Keep it for next year. We might. We'll see. Uh, Luke, we'll see. He had a bed to sleep in, Drew. Yeah, uh, Pacific Typhoon, again, we need five or six players for that. So, yeah, that's backburnered for right now. Luke, it's a short list that did enjoy that stream, but I'm glad to hear that you did. Not uh, RGM, uh, let's see, RGM Nented, not quite. Net Wilk, acceptable. We'll accept that. The judges accept that. Yes. And same PPK. Primary colors in Rome. <laughs> oh, it took me a little bit. To, I'm like, why are people saying... 2001 Space Euro Odyssey. Oh, a little slow on the uh, on the pickup on that, but I got it. That's funny. Yeah, uh, we don't use the the uh, the monolith as well, but yes, make. Is this Cloud City taking rental applications, asking for an entire species? <laughs> Take care, Yorick. Good. I'm glad some of y'all don't know all these. So, putting some stuff on your list. All right. That is true, E. Hmm. Understood, Luke, but it's like some people, it's like funny, and then it's really not, and you gotta wait till it gets funny again. So, yep. It is not exit. All right. All right, you guys ready to move on? We still got a ways, so hopefully everyone's sticking around and having a good time still. So next one uh, is a game that 
I'll be honest. I don't know that anybody has ever talked about other than on this show. Okay, so here we go. Now, if you're colorblind, this game is difficult. I, I will say this. I think it originally came out in 2013. It was 2013 or 2014, this one. And uh, this, the fact that we understood one of the concepts in this game really tickled the designer. And he and I became friends uh, because of that when I met him at uh, Essen the very first time. The designer is Polish. First name is Christoph, but goes by Chris as well. Brian, that happens more than you would think it does. The publisher was like, damn, who ordered 5,000 big-ass black wooden blocks? Right. As a designer walked in saying, anyone know what we could use for a turn marker? That, th th some of that actually happens. Oh, what do we have? Oh, we can make use of that type stuff. All right. Oh, Clay just mentioned, said, uh, he laughed and said, that's awesome. <laughs> No Vincent, no Ali. Who know with a cow? Where's the cow? Oh, I see the cow now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I I I'll, I'll buy that. Yes. That's awesome. Mur says, Edward, I sold you this game a few years ago, but can't remember the name for a secret Santa thing. That's awesome. <laughs> Goose Arena. Weird Alhambra? <laughs> Jaipur, big board. Oh, this, this is entertaining to me. Almost said the name of the game, Alex. Remains on my shelf of hope. See, I like that instead of shelf of shame. I have an entire room. I'm not ashamed of it. It's just, you know what? It's a room of potential. Most people have a shelf of potential. So of hope, same idea. I like that. <laughs> it's pit. Not quite. Drew, man, these are hard. See? I see that I wanted to make give you a little bit of sense of hope, give you a little confidence, and then, you know, we're going to mix it up from there. Looks like an Amsterdam game. You know, that's fair, because you see the ship in the bottom right. I get that, totally. RGM. Thurn and Taxis. Nope, this is way heavier than Thurn and Taxis. That guy has some tiny thumbs. <laughs> Noted, Gusarino. Hey, Paulo, you can, you can say it's okay. That's, there's a reason the chat's not on the screen, Paulo. Welcome. Not doing real well, Robert. That's okay. You're having fun. And you know what? You're learning about new games, hopefully. All right. All right. Take care, Chip. Catch you later. Bookcases of potential. A plethora of potential. See, there you go. Cows must be Great Western Trail. Have now read cow? <laughs> I love that Rocky and I is 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 literally and Irene's playing along. Me, where's the cow? Her. How do you not see it? Because I have a 42 inch TV that I use as my monitor and I have chat taking up half of it and the actual stream is only about this big and I'm at a distance and then, oh, I see it now. So I get there. All right. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, Michael, just, just play. Uh, I would recommend going back to the beginning of the stream and watching this at double speed, catching up. All right, Michael, just having some fun here. Exit. I wanted to put this on, uh, put that game on this, but I did not. Uh, but I've never played that and I really want to play that. I've heard that game can go from anywhere from like five minutes to like 500 minutes, literally. All of my missed games have not been streamed yet. Okay, fair, Vincent. <laughs> the sequel, Uno, but with Hanukkah guilt. Uh, Christos, you're hurting my wallet, dude. Hey, hey, but you're entertained, right? You're having fun. Paul says, I, I, I turn chat off till I give up. Most time chat comes back really quick. What's with the plethora thing? Ulysses, have you never seen the three amigos? Seriously? When we're done here, go watch three amigos. One of my favorite scenes in movies. My favorite opening scene I probably can't talk about because I don't think, I don't want to get grief about it, and I would, even though I think it's hysterical. Uh, but yeah, this is one of my favorite movie scenes was that scene. Uh, jefe. Anyway. Anyone not, or anyone who is lucky enough uh, not be in lockdown where they live? No. <laughs> that I know of. All right, we're about a third of the way done, according to Josh. I'll take your word for it. Oh, Vincent. State's on lockdown, but I still have to go to work. Be safe, dude. All right? Seriously, be safe. North Dakota may be social di distancing all the time. I, we're not making light of it. We're just trying to lighten them. That's funny, because there are like four people in North Dakota. There's not. There's way more. But come on, work with me. Has HC played this? Well, Edward of HC has played this numerous times, but it has not been streamed. No. Yes, it's done state by state in the US. This one's available on Amazon for a hundred bucks. Really? Ouch. Oh, in Florida, apparently it's a shelter in place county by county. All right. Wow. All right. You should just stream three amigos. <laughs> No, no, it, it, the, 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 the opening scene uh, movie, um, the movie's not that great. It has Belnicio del Toro and Ryan Phillippe in it, and I'll leave it at that. I think it's hysterical. Also has a very, very um, famous female comedian in it. And it, Anyway, moving on. All right. That would be so much fun if I could do that, Rocky. It says, I like this idea, movie night with heavy cardboard. We live stream and everyone starts the movie at the same time. That'd be a blast. It would get shut down real quick, unfortunately, but I think that would be amazing. That would be a blast. Uh, that'd be like a Mystery Science Theater 3000, but a terrible version of it. I think that'd be awesome. Nice, Tim. Well, be safe, anybody that has to go out there. All right? Be safe. Um, I will neither conform nor, uh, confirm nor deny uh, what that is. Um, anyway, moving on. Next game. Here we go. So that one stumped quite a few of y'all. Uh, OCD warning in five four, three, that, that was mean, I know, I know, that's all right. No, like everyone plays their own movie and you stream your reaction. Oh, 
It'd be a little bit harder, but we might get to that point at some point in April. That would be kind of fun. Like how many, how many Zoom can you do, right? I guess it'd be YouTube chat, but it'd be like it's 20 second delay. That's the only problem with that, right? Serino, oh God, no. <laughs> oh, I think it's E that thoroughly enjoys this, doesn't he? I think it is, right? <laughs> Scott, I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> ah. Oh, I am so glad I did this today. Oh. <laughs> oh, when are we getting a solo of this? Possibly next week. We'll see, Paul. Seriously? <laughs> Not even baggies. Just disgusting. <laughs> Oh, I love you people. This is the only one that's like this, okay? But yeah, I had to. <laughs> uh, this is how this game was the first time I played it, he said. <laughs> oh... I'm legit going to write down the whole uh, movie night thing. I'm serious. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I just want to reach into the screen and start bagging things. RGM, well done. <laughs> Seriously, who the hell did that? Someone find them and help them. They need help, guys. They're broken. <laughs> Big box of nope. <laughs> oh. And on that note, we pause. Hey, hey, we're back to the PTZ. Bob, cheers. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate the support, man. Thank you very much. Just want to bask in this for a minute longer. <laughs> Whoever this is, is a savage. This is what evil looks like. So just to be clear here, the, this is what evil looks like. The user's name is Messy Craft. At a glance, when I first saw it, I was like, Messy? I was like, wait, what? Oh, oh, all right, cool, all right. It's like Settlers of Catan. Found my disaster junk drawer from eighth grade. Urgh, I don't even have OCD and I can't say that. And I can say that. She's close to being a psychopath. <laughs> Oh, hi, Joe. I <laughs> can't even imagine trying to set that up for a game.
That's a one and done play. Ain't no way you're going to set up that game ever again in that condition. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's some really good uh, horror stories you guys have. This is awesome. <laughs> Who said that? Jonathan. Hey, we're at 800 patrons until tomorrow. That is so spot on. <laughs> That's awesome because tomorrow's the first and credit cards get declined. So, yeah, that's funny. Uh, exit. We're, uh, I'm probably going to stream this maybe next week, we'll see, uh, so I'll show you then. Welcome, Bob. Do you subscribe to other channels that show you pure evil? Oh, Michael, that is not funny. Says, is this a demonstration how to put games away at HeavyCon? That is not funny, because most of the games at HeavyCon are mine. Not funny. <laughs> okay, touche. We're even. Start with the border like any puzzle. <laughs> Hey, Warren. Oh. Hey, Sergio. Why am I? Because I'm trying to catch up on chat. Oh, Siri apparently. Uh... All right. A moment. Okay. All right, so I've, I've, had, I've had some fun with this one. Thank you for indulging me. Uh, we're still uh, not quite halfway, but it's okay. Next one. Here we go. It's definitely saturated, this, this picture of it, but uh, aesthetically, I still think, excuse me, as the game goes along, I think is one of the most aesthetically pleasing games on the table as there is in this hobby. All right. How many of these are we doing? I don't know. It's about 45, give or take a few, Michael. <laughs> Mark, that's how I store all my games because you're a monster. Still, that, that one earlier was the one that uh, just, I haven't seen chat explode that quickly like I did since. So, all right. No, this is not the Griefill edition, Vincent, which makes me sad. I sold this game, Adam says, and bought it the next day because I regretted selling it. <laughs> Uh, somebody said this was viable at two players. I don't know that I've played this at two players. I think it's very, it, it's perfect. <laughs> it, it's best at four players. I still really enjoy it at three. I don't know that I've played this at two. I'm trying to remember. All right, Paul, have a good day at work. All right, be safe. Blurry boat blah. For me, it's container the meta. It is not. All right, take care, Michael. It's your lie, Paul. You tell it however you want, all right? How long does this one take to play? Um, assuming not a first game and everybody knows the rules. Two, two and a half hours, I think. Martin likes it with two, he says. Okay, all right, there you go. All right, there we go.
moment. Take care, Jonas. Sorry about that. Not really. Not really. At all. All right. I vaguely remember seeing that this designer has a new one coming, and I think it looked good to me, but I have no idea what it was. What I would recommend, RGM, is going back, I don't know, three to four weeks ago, three to five weeks ago, the designer traveled from the Netherlands here, and we streamed it. That is the designer of this game, or one of the co-designers, and the new game we streamed. So check that out, all right? There you go. All right, let's move on, shall we? So let's see, I have, let me go back, hold on, before we do that, let me go back through and make sure before I, all right, this next one is the first one on this list that I have not played. Not bad, Adam. Not bad. I don't know. Was it five weeks ago? I can't remember how long ago it was. Stump Murr on this one. All right. Did not stump a lot of you, it seemed. I know, JT. I knew. I knew. I, I thought of you when I when I put this one in here. Paul says, "Refuse to play this game." Why, Paul? Favorite solo game. PPK. I heard that learning the uh, to play this is a game in itself. That's why I want to stream it. I I need to actually get a copy of the Ultimate Edition and learn it, and then stream it for you guys. Clearly, this is D and D with circles. Or hexes, but we're not, hey, this is not shape trivia. It's okay, Irene. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know if it comes with the painted figures, I'll be honest. I know it comes with the figures, right? But somebody tell me, does the Ultimate Edition, the, the latest edition of this, come with them painted? I don't know. Oh, okay. The Ultimate Edition does come with painted minis. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, circles in hex is fine. Yes, Chisholm. Okay. The world needs help with Fields of Fire. I think I have it in the... That could happen as the month goes along. Exit. Although, I'm hesitating on that because I've heard the, the, uh, the learning curve on that. And you know what? Now that I mention it, I don't know if I have that. I know I have Ambush. I know I have Upfront. I don't know whatever happened to it. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I don't know if I have Fields of Fire, actually. So, mm. No, I have not gotten the Ultimate Edition, Mark. But I will be getting it from WizKids. I, I have a uh, pretty good feeling about, okay? Ollie. Okay. Family McManus says, not a fantasy guy at all, but really enjoy soloing this, Spirit Island, and Gloomhaven. All right, cool. 
Brian, almost learned it. Picked out the rule book. Had a moment of, nope. You know what that is, Brian? Job security. Nightmare Giraffe says it's good. It's so weird, though, to have one to four player games that I would never, ever play with anyone else. I've heard this is just best as a solo game. Oh, apparently they're painted in just the base game as well, new board order says. So there you go. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. I realize I kind of gave it away when I'm... Yeah. All right. Yeah, the shadow is really good on this picture, isn't it? Like the shadow of the winged creature thing. Like, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. Take care, Kevin. Be like Adam, y'all. Says, wait, y'all y'all read rule books? I find YouTube videos to teach me. And see, whether it's me, whether it's Rado, whether it's Paul, whether it's John, uh, Ricky. There are times that all of us get something wrong, some more than others, but our job, yes, to teach you, but also ease that learning, flatten the curve. <laughs> Too soon? Uh, flatten the curve on learning the game, and then this way you have a really good feel for the game. Then when you go through the rule book, you're like, oh, all this makes sense. I feel like ultimately, I think that's what all of us aim for. Because there, we can't hit every edge case and all of that. I think we do a really good job collectively. Um, and I'll speak for myself. I think I do a really good job of making sure that I'm flattening the learning curve for you guys to where when you do get a copy of it and you get the rule book, you're like, oh, that makes sense, that makes sense, okay, this, da 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 right? So, there we go. Tony, learned it, played it, hated it, sold it. All right, fair enough. The rules aren't that hard, Mark says. It's the eight-point font that gets you. I am prepared for that. All right. Well, just wait, exit. It's coming. Okay? And yeah, I, I've heard that Ricky Royal's uh, uh, solo playthrough of this was really good. But still, nonetheless, I'm wanting to do my own. So. D-Day at Peleliu. After your video yesterday. Awesome. Good, exit. All right. All right, let's move on, shall we? So next one's a, another softball for you guys. Enjoy. Ready? There you go. Oh. Thanks, Uwe. Says you do a very good job of uh, transporting the feeling of a game. That's often my buy, not buy decision. All right. Awesome. Sleep well, Mayak. And Patricia. Sleep well. All right. Um, the judges said no, Luke. I'm sorry. Judges would not accept that answer. Have fun, Jonathan. Because I think there's a significant delineation here. First game Drew ever backed on Kickstarter. Well, there you go. If anybody's selling their copy, Adam who has COVID currently, would like to buy a copy from you. Just throwing that out there.
And it's on the top of the blocks, Josh. Uh, not on the bottom. The bottoms are plain, but yes, they are. Yep. Packs the stacking game, yes. Unvarnished something. Enjoy playing this with uh, you and Jess at Grand Con. Yes, okay. Now I, I, yes, that was a good time. Jenga. <laughs> Spools versus chalk. <laughs> I'm trying, Adam. I'm, I'm going to bat for you, man. I have a copy, but no. <laughs> Pax Jenga. Gamers asking about washing. That's a win. <laughs> uh, uh, Ollie, I will answer your questions in the order you ask them. Do I know much about the next game in the series? No. Am I streaming it? Yes. Oh, Justin says, currently making PAX Expanse based on this. Interesting. Oh, excellent. Have a good one, Tony. My best to Helen as well. PAX, yeah, series is one I just couldn't get into. Um, this is a perfect jumping off point to do so. I also said, uh, Robert, but I got transhumanity and can't wait to get this to the table. Yep. So both of those, yes, Luke, or uh, to whoever asked that, uh, Ollie, um, one of which we're probably not because we already have one, but Pax Viking, yes. All right, we're good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one, if it is interesting to you and you are interested in a ready-made collection of it, I happen to know somebody selling it. Let me know. Here we go. Fantastic game. Legitimately fantastic game. I'm just never going to get it to the table and I don't have the space for it. Yes, exit it is. Later on this year, um, all of the, uh, not all, but a lot of the games from Sierra Madre slash Iron Game Design are, are going to be on the docket. All right. Anybody out there likes making like model building and like railroad train layouts? This half the fun, if not three quarters of the fun, is actually doing what you see here. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, the last one, uh, ep episode 145 on the podcast just came out last week. I'd recommend checking that out. I think it's worth it. Minecraft, the hex variant. <laughs> Nightmare Giraffe. I have a permanent table for this. That's awesome. Ollie, what the hell is that? Looks expensive. It is because it's out of print and has been for a long time. Um, but if anybody has, uh, say, $1,000 and wants a pretty extensive collection of this, I'm serious. Let me know. I'm not kidding at all. No time, money, or space to make that, Paul says. It, mm, Lego After Dark Edition. <laughs> exactly, Chad. This looks so much fun, but I have 1,200 square feet. Yup. 
Uh, no, I, uh, Tom Vassell does not need my collection of this, unfortunately. Land of Hex whatever trees. Yes, that's exactly what this is. Um, it's actually a tabletop miniatures game without measuring. Honestly, is what this is. And you build the terrain. It's amazing. Legit. Thanks, Vincent. Chris says, I have most of the sets back in the day. Not sure I ever really actually played the game. Just have fun making the continents and playing with the figures. Um, yeah, but I, I, I have a pretty extensive collection of this that I think I've shown pictures of it before. Um, but it's now in tubbies down on the side of my kitchen. Luke. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. This next one, uh, I feel like if you watch this channel, should be a uh, softball for you guys. Really, really easy one. Although the artistic... I like the lighting on this one, on this picture. This is a good one. I like Family McManus's uh, name of this one. <laughs> Revenge of the Clownfish. <laughs> you are correct, Rocky. I, no, um, I did not... That is actually incorrect, Rocky. 20,000 leagues under the HC? Yes, exactly. Snake Eyes, the game. Oh, yeah? The original edition E, yes. JT nailed it. Yes, that is exactly, exactly the, uh, the subtitle of this game. That is not a fish, Uve. Take care, Chad. What are we having? I do like the dice. Yeah. Okay. Those are not. Uh, uh, th those are not the dice that come with the game, but they're dice, right? Um, two to three hours, Andrew. Yeah, it's not semantics. There's a difference, thank you. Um, yeah, two to three hours um, to solo this and not streaming it. Yeah, I think so. Once you once you know the game, I think that's a we we all agreed that that was uh, pretty much the felt like the leisurely but not slow pace of the game. I think so. Roast beef and potatoes, nice. I'm hungry. That sounds good. Enjoy. All right, Adam says 20 of the games so far, or 20 games so far, 15 of them were streamed and at, some, uh, at some point, and I've only played six of them. All right. All right. Good. 
Yes, this one I feel like should have been pretty easy. Oh, wow, we have a lot of games to go. All right, let's get moving. I have somebody coming over later tonight to uh, play a game. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, all right, here we go. Next one. I'm not saying it's the ugliest board in existence, but I'm going to put it in the top five along with one of the earlier games that we did. Yup. Oh, Joe, you're killing me. Made chicken curry with naan. Oh, oh, that sounds good. What's this putting cheese on your front? Dude, somebody really got upset about that. Apparently there was an Australian that saw my tweet that after the Ask the Elephant and after the, uh, the Nemo stream, I went to Outback, got takeout, got Aussie cheese fries. Because it's Outback, whatever, right? I just wanted guilty pleasure. So it's cheese, fries, and bacon and ranch dressing. It's not healthy. It's not good. Got takeout. That was good. That was yummy. It was good. Sated. Had a craving. But man, somebody really got upset about that. So sorry about that. I'm so into the live stream, I forgot my online class. Sorry, Charles, but yay. Uh, thank you, on the other hand. Um, I have to set alarms for whenever I have appointments and stuff or else I'll forget. Like I had a uh, online therapy session um, earlier today. I had to set an alarm for it because completely oblivious to it had I not. Um, on that note, going to start taking some meds, see if that kind of evens things out. It's an SSRI. It's Celotibron, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so that's going to be coming in the mail soon. So that's cool. Looking forward to that. Taco Tuesday for me. Oh, Paul. Mm. Oh. And yes, it's with a Y, correct. Nope, this is the, this is the version we streamed. Great, Scott, that board is savage. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah, apparently, this is getting reprinted from Roxley. However, they're doing asymmetric powers. I don't know that this game needs that. Um, as long as you can play the original rules on this, then, hey, knock yourself out. But, yeah, that's a big deal to me on this one. Is Outback any good? Asking from Australia. It's a steakhouse chain. If you want a consistently decent steak, it's fine. That's it. The end. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, poutine. Oh. I should not do these. I, and I had eaten, but I'm, I'm starving now. The French flag, but cubes. Completely ignoring the board underneath, which looks like Africa threw up. Yep. Okay. Don't know if you're being serious, Vincent. Put peanut butter sauce on our fries with mayonnaise and raw onions. For real? That's it, Gusarino. That is it. Thanks, Rocky. Ah. Luke, he's Australian. He gets a pass on this. Recently discovered making tacos with pork carnitas. I don't think I will ever go back to regular mince, meaning ground beef, I assume. Yeah, um, I, I've talked about this, my love for tacos and Mexican food. Um, watch, if you have Netflix, watch Taco Chronicles. I'm telling you, it's the best show I've, it's amazing. And it's going to make you want to travel to Mexico City. I'm going later this year, provided this stuff calms down. I'm going. I'm going for a weekend to eat tacos. The end. Just saying. Have a good one, Uwe. No, I have not gotten any bubble tea since the lockdown. However, just did uh, make me, we went to H Mart, I think it's called, 
it's like the giant Asian market. And I got all the fixins for making bubble tea at home. I just haven't done it. I might do that tomorrow. Barbacoa, favorite for tacos and burritos. Yes, cannot go wrong with that. I know, it's not my fault. Ooh, a Portinga re recipe from Rick Bayless. I did get his name right on the Ask the Elephant. All right. That man knows his uh, Guadala uh, Guadalajara. No, it's, um, it's like the west coast of Mexico. I love watching Rick Bayless's show. Oh. Yep. Uh, same, Luke. Luke, yes. Okay, it's not, yeah, Asian, yeah, 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 okay. All right, take care, giraffe. You're turning us into grand, my bad. I got, this took a lot longer than I thought to prep because I wanted to give credit and I had to add that into every picture. So that took, took a while. Langua is the only great taco meat. It is a great taco meat. However, it is not the only great taco meat. Tacos al Pastor, in my opinion, still the perfect taco. You were not the first to suggest that, Eric, the uh, cooking with heavy cardboard. Oaxacan, thank you. That's it, Adam. Yes. Uh, yeah. Trust me, I was freaked out by lengua. For those that don't know, it's tongue. Um, it, it's beef. That's all you, you won't know. It's delicious. Try it. It's tender. It's awesome. Heavy cutting board. I like it. All right, let's move on. Next one. A game I never expected to like as much as I did. Uh, full disclosure, the little plastic uh, covers are not part of the game. However, they are invaluable if you play this game for, with any regularity to keep them from getting dinged up. Highly recommend it. The game is out of print and, the, and is expensive, so I'm sorry about that. But you can get these. These are uh, coin protector cases that you can get. Uh, for this game that I recommend. That's those plastic covers. So there you go. All right. The taco that takes you back. Yup. Very out of print. Yes, it is. It's heavy cardboard. I don't concern myself with that. Really good game. <laughs> Forbidden from reprint. Yup. Just find a used copy. Uh, another thing for those, uh, one of the things that I recommended, obviously the BGG Marketplace, BGG Auctions, eBay, all of that stuff. But I also really do strongly recommend if this is a grail game for you or any game that you're interested in acquiring that's out of print, going on to BGG, Find people that have it marked for trade, send them geek mails and ask them. A lot of times people won't respond, but you never know. Or somebody that has it in their collection is owned, but has it rated lowly. Ask them if they'll sell it or trade it. Never hurts. It only takes a little bit of time to send a geek mail. Highly recommend it. People uh, or, or post in the, in the heavy cardboard slack. All, all good uh, recommendations. All right. Oh, apparently a designer has been talking on BGG forums about a new version with a different IP. I think I actually knew that. Long-term project, but in the meantime, if that's something that interests you, there you go. Space Castles, Omega Edition. Yes, I, I'm surprised no one has called it the Indianapolis Colts Edition, because it's blue and it reminds me of that. Understood, Saban. And Joe says he got his copy of 2038 that way from uh, just messaging people on BGG. It's a really good uh, way to get out of print games. Highly recommend that. All right.
Brian says, I troll Facebook marketplace groups with ambiguous in search of posts with no prices. I get stupid deals that way. That's another option. There you go. All right. We've exhausted that one, I think. So let's move on. Hey, sports ball. Yep, I know. Kaboom, the game. That's what this one is. Some of the production quality, or some of the graphic design and just the production uh, components on this one were a little suspect. And there is one aspect of this game that I'm not super keen on, but overall, really big fan of this game. The answers are coming considerably slower on this one. considerably slower on this one. That's funny, Christopher. Eric, yep. Sort of. Not not it's it's not a railroad game though. Looks like a four year old found age of steam in a marker. <laughs> I don't I, I assume it's out of print, but I don't know if this one is. Age of Steam, Hades map. <laughs> I agree, the box is too big for this one. Case note doodles, cubes included, yes. This is interesting how many, are, yeah, we have streamed this and I'm pretty sure there's a podcast review on this one. In fact, I know there is. It's, uh, I don't know if I can read that from here. Nope, cannot. Um, I want to say it's in the first 30 episodes of the podcast, this one. Tony and I did this one. All right. This is awesome. I, I love I, I love the uh, the the wrong answers on this. All right, this next one I'm gonna throw up here, and I will be right back because I'm out of tea. I need something to drink. I'll be right back. Throw this up, and I'll catch up with uh, with chat here in a minute. All right. Oh, Adam says I got an extra copy of this. If anybody wants to trade with me, I won't touch the game. My wife will take care of the shipping because, again, he has COVID, so just FYI. Uh, but it's this game. If you're looking for it, reach out to Adam. He's in Slack. Okay? All right, here we go. Next one. Here we go. And I will be back in a moment or a few.
I come back in and the only thing I see is Alice in Wonder Chess, obviously. All right, let's see. Luke even spelled it right. Well done. <laughs> Intimate chess, sex chess, chess after dark edition. This is awesome. Uh, yes, this is a the only chess variant that I think is pretty amazing, legitimately. Gatorade Zero. It's hot in here. Plus, two long sleeve shirt. No, mistakes were made. I think the drugs are kicking in. <laughs> and yes, Vincent, I did. Really, Adam hates this game. Really? Why? I do not know the end. So for anybody listening, Bob says, has anyone participated in a small virtual game convention? What would maximize the fun of such a thing? Planning one with some friends and trying to brainstorm. I'll be honest. Um, I'm probably putting together a Slack channel because I know that the heavy cardboard Slack, there's uh, the, the looking for online game, looking for game folk. Uh, a lot of people have been using that and getting together that way. That's my best suggestion. JT, what 13-year-old me did to chess pieces that made my mom ground me. <laughs> uh. Take care, Michael. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out, man. Menage chess. Hey, Kabuki. In a David Attenborough voice, the mating rituals of the chess pieces are a tender process. I, uh, nobody can do David Attenborough, but David Attenborough, but yes. I don't know. Der, uh, does uh, Eric Martin really like that? I don't know. I, I know I am a really big fan of this one. Oh, uh, okay. So... Adam's so used to regular base chess. That makes sense. So I, I played a lot of chess growing up and, and in high school, went to state in high school. I wasn't any good, but I haven't played really since then. So I'm not as married to it as, as like you are, Adam. So that makes sense. Hey, <laughs> just see what happens when you get castled. Eh. Take care, Scott. No, they don't snap together. They just, they, they, they like yin yang together and just, yeah, because you got to be able to put them together and remove them. Uh, th thank you, Christopher, rules lawyer. Well done, sir. I think that's a reference to the Netflix thing, Brian, I think. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of... Um, impersonating people. I've talked about uh, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. If you guys like history shows, podcasts, cannot recommend Hardcore History enough. Same with the History of Rome from Mike Duncan and Revolutions by Mike Duncan. But there is, if you like Game of Thrones, there is somebody out there that I think you may have to pay to get this one. And it's worth it if you like Dan Carlin. And uh, Game of Thrones, there's somebody that basically does the history of Game of Thrones like it were real history, like Dan Carlin. It is hysterical and amazing. It gets all of his, just, it's amazing. Yes, just Google it and it's worth it if you like those things. Anyway.
my favorite, not uh, my favorite intro. Dan, uh, uh, you know what? We're going to move on and then I will. This next one I have tried and am going to fail. I know this now trying to get it reprinted. It's just never going to happen because production costs are going to be way too high. Unfortunately, uh, my favorite intro to one of Dan Carlin's was the, uh, it was, imagine writing a book about the positive attributes of the Third Reich. Imagine how that would be received. Um, the Nazis in Third Reich are uh, responsible for Hitler and that, responsible for the death of six plus million people. Horrible, one of the biggest black marks in history, period. But imagine writing a book about all the positive things about the Third Reich and what they did. That would not go over very well. He said, but I'm, I, I wonder what will happen in 500 years. He said, because that's pretty much what happened about Genghis Khan. He's, Responsible for the death of 40 to 55 million people. But people don't really talk about that much. They talk about the worldwide uh, international trade and all of these positive attributes of, of what Genghis Khan brought to the world. Um, yeah, wow, huh? What, what time will do to things? How would that skews things? Anyway, I thought that was a really interesting uh, intro for... Uh, about Genghis Khan and the Khan's uh, series, uh, Hardcore History. So, yeah, that's fantastic. By the way, for those that don't know, uh, Mike Duncan probably has a bigger responsibility for the existence of heavy cardboard than anyone else out there not named me. And to a lesser degree, Tony, obviously, since he was my original podcast partner. Um, because I started listening to podcasts because of the history of Rome with Mike Duncan. It's still my all-time favorite podcast. So, yeah, big deal to me. Anyway, moving on. That's funny, Christopher. Drew, the best box of rocks, had a blast playing this at HeavyCon. Yes. Rock stick finger flick. <laughs> rock me Archimedes. What? Well done, Graham. Well done. For real, Graham? This has been published as a marble game by Marbles, the brain store. Really? Really? Huh. All right. Lonely Rock at the playground. Just trying to help out. And Adam says, still only one wrong. Perhaps I watch too many board game YouTube videos. No. Adam, you watch the perfect amount of board game YouTube videos. Please continue. <laughs> wow, okay, so the, either, either a lot of y'all have dropped off on commenting or this has stumped a legitimate lot of you guys. All right, good. Adam, take care, thank you. And thanks for all you do, man. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. All right, so moving on, next one. This next one I think is going to be relatively tough. I could be wrong, but let's see. Hey, Shrey. John Hodgman and Elliot Cullen are doing a podcast episode by episode. Watch uh, of I, Claudius. I have not. Do me a favor, shoot me an email on that, and I will, I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Oh, 
clearly not. He missed one. Yes, Adam. How do you even play that game? Um, we're going to stream it at some point, so I will point it out then. Exit. Ah. All right, Graham. I am going to try and figure that out. Oh, that's really the name of a game. Okay. Huh. Rock me Archimedes. You're right. All right. I did not know that. All right. Very cool. That's a fair point, Gusarino. Oh, wow. You, wow. You, I, Wow, this didn't really... I thought it was going to be harder than it was, apparently. Clean up poop, the game. Yes, pretty much. Yes. Uh, well done on that, uh, Gusarino. You mean I, Claudius, with Vs, because Us. Um, we were going to stream this the week uh, that things went sideways. So... It's coming. Take care, Warren. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are as well. All right. Well, you guys, wow, you, I... I Dark or Overlord. That also would have been a fair fair guess. That's, that's well done. And yes, you are correct, Christopher. All right, so let's keep moving. So next one, uh, I don't think will be too hard, and I know is getting a reprint. Mm-hmm. Those were not RGM. Whenever uh, Shrey is able to come around again, we're uh, probably me, Jess, and Shrey will stream this one. I think the thank God was for the fact that this game's getting a reprint. Want reprint? So bad. Yes. Luke, that is more right than you're not. Vlada Shavadal does is one of the most impressive designers, in my opinion. Um, the fact that he's all over the place, it's really, really impressive. <laughs> Scott, I need to update my swipe for board game names. <laughs> I don't know if uh, the expansion's getting a reprint. I don't think that I might be thinking of a different game that's getting a reprint, whether or not the... Uh, I... Mm, mm, not sure. Yes, this is uh, arguably Jess's favorite game. All right, Irene. Nope. No entertaining wrong name. I don't have much to make fun of here. Cylinders and squares, the game. Brian, I'm drinking and I've lost count. 17 to 21. That's solid.
All right. I'm excited about the next ones that are coming up. All right. Cool. That's solid. Paul says, I paid 200 bucks for this two years ago. Played it over 20 times since then. Worth it to me. See? There you go. Good stuff. All right. Let's move on to the next one. I think... I think the, the, the peanut gallery will do pretty well on this one. I think so. If there was a suit visible, that would have been easier on this, I think, but all right. Oh, nice, Graham. David's a good dude. He's, uh, he's very frenetic at times. Very good dude. He was supposed to be here this week. In fact, he was supposed to be here, like, in three days. But obviously that's not coming, not happening now. People overboard. Paul paid 200 bucks for Ginkopolis. Taught it to me for free. I think I got a good deal. <laughs> Christopher, why does my deck only have three suits? The game. <laughs> yep. PPK, a war game set in Holland, apparently featuring George II. So, Austrian War of Succession? That is a fair assumption, JT. We would accept both. Or either. So... I see no game. This is clearly a map of the world. She is going to be a doctor. Fair, fair, all right. Justin, all right, you got 20. All right, get some rest, man. There, there is some... Uh, uh, photoshopping that probably went on in this color wise probably all right all right let's keep moving you guys are nailing it sort of here we go uh this is a historically set game that I knew nothing about until the game came out. And have since been a very big fan of the game. This was a tough one to really be able to show much of, picture-wise. There's not a lot of pictures on BGG of this one. Take care, Justin. Nope, Gusarino. Nope, Eric. Nope, Scott. Nope, Graham. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, Mike's a little behind, but okay. We'll, we'll count it. Finally, someone has gotten this one. Thanks, Shrey. Well, I'm going to make this full size so I can see if I can read the cards. You don't need to be able to read the cards. 
I think that actually does a pretty good job of showing off the game. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't feel like that's a cheat on my end. That's also from Victory Point, right? Uh, family? I feel like Christopher kind of has to get this one, right? Old and bored psychologists. <laughs> These are seriously headshots I've seen of Freud, Skinner, and James, and maybe a criminal thrown in there. <laughs> uh, plumpy, mustachioed Britishman. Not quite. Yeah, I think, I think this is one that I would be down to uh, stream again. Yes, for sure. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at that. All right, well, there you go. You guys did... Started out a little weak, but you got there on this one. All right. Definitely recommend this. Mm. Oh, it's a tough call. This or Watergate. I think this, it's close. Like, I'm not gonna, I think they're both really good. Um, but I think this, uh, I think the theme of it and just the way it works with the, the jurors and everything, I just really, really am smitten with this game. I think it's excellent. I really do like this. A graphic novel about the history of this, Paul says. Eh, all right. Brianna, I work in law. I don't need a board game. I think you would dig this, though. I really do. And Paul says this is better than Watergate, but both are great. So, all right. Let's keep moving. Is it like 13 days? This is a step up from 13 days, but yeah, I kind of. All right, next one. Uh, recently delivered on a Kickstarter, this one. This is a really hard game for me to play well. Well, a lot of games I could say that about, but this specific, like if people say, what are some of the hardest games for you to play? This is up there on that list for me. All right. Hey, Garrett, read chat. I'm not talking about them. This is kind of a, you know, a little play along that we're doing. I put up the pictures. You guys try and guess the games. I have the original one of this. I like the deluxe version. <laughs> it's way nicer. <laughs> I recently got the, 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 uh, Albin sent me the, uh, the deluxe version. It's really nice. Ah, Wings for the Baron. That would have been another one good to put in here that I did not. Scott, good call. Matt, literally just got this delivered today. Excellent. I told you, these are going to somewhat get harder. Some, not all, all right? <laughs> Parking in Boston already sucks. Don't need a board game. Fair point, fair point. 
COVID-19 the game. Although I will say that this game kind of is a little, uh, uh, oh, I cannot think of the name when you, it has a bit of a dark humor theme going through it because you want your patients to get sicker because treating them gets you more money. Two Point Llama Hospital, but Meeple. Yeah, yeah, okay. That 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 was not good, Brianna. Anyone else's Kickstarter of clinic get delivered with the sleeve over top of the shrink? I don't think that's how that's supposed to go. <laughs> Joe says, my partner works at a hospital, but he's finding the doctors a place to park the most realistic thing ever in a game. <laughs> No, it's not capitalism. It's not macabre. It's, uh, I can't think of the word, but, but it is pretty macabre because you do benefit when your patients are sicker, provided you can treat them, right? <laughs> and it does have a virus module in the expansion. It does. It does. Now, this originally came out, what, like five years ago? I think four or five years ago. Not. So anyway, all right, let's move on. This next one, gallows humor, that, it's still not the word I'm thinking of, but all fit. Uh, this next one is all about 80s excess and the theme it very much leans into its theme and it is very much not appropriate for modern sentiment like this game would have to be very careful to be published the game is really good but the theme on it you just have to understand what the theme represents 80s excess, and that's exactly what it was. That's this next one. Oh, Paul knew it before, and Alex knew it before I even put it up. Well done. We're going to have to pick up the pace because I got, uh, and oh boy, Andrew coming over. I said, oh my God, I have a lot to go. Wow. We're going to have to go way quicker on this. Paul, I want this game so bad. I know it may or may not be in there, but not everyone's going to look that close. Okay. What are we playing tonight? That to get ready for the stream on Thursday. Nah, I got another stream tomorrow, Chisholm. We'll get through it. No, 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 no. Let's go. We're going to go quicker, though. Filthy Rich Splatter Style. Yes, I think that's a good name for this. All right, let's go. The next one is a punt. You guys, this is going to be, everyone in here is going to get it. So this will compete for the, uh, the earlier one for the race on comments. Ready, set, go. We're not going to waste much time on this one.
Because I promised Andrew I would have hands in the sea set up for when he got here. You gotta be specific, Chisholm. Mur. I'm just saying. Just gotta be specific. I really am. I'm powering through this thing, aren't I? Seriously. It's cooling me off, though. There's that. All right. It is, it is a lot more to type. Fair, fair point. Beer. The game. Oh, Alexander translated this one for him. Nice. All right. Ooh, Chisholm being very specific. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, before we get started or go on to the next one, um, priorities. Jason, cheers. Thank you. Appreciate the support very much. Nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's see, where are we? There we go. That one was pretty easy. This next one uh, is probably going to stump most of you guys, I think. Also, a game we have not streamed that I desperately want to and was going to be on the short list to do in April. Maybe not so much now. Uh, the, like, bluish gems... And I think the gold are not part of the components. Those are after words. One has a golden elephant, the other does not. That is true. Take care, exit. Scott says play fair. What? Just saying, there are people that have gotten this one. So, all right. Oh, my little side is where the gem's from. Okay, all right. Nope, Netwilk. Excellent. Got most of you guys. All right. Fair enough, Rocky. This one's tough. Serena, by the way, if you're running short of time, I want you to think on how long we had to look at that box of bits. <laughs> hey, Paulo. You might recognize this one. <laughs> this is a really hard but really, really good game. It is a city builder. All right, good. That is not right, Paul. But there are people that got this. I know it is. See your name down there in the bottom left-hand corner, Polo? So. <laughs> I did crop it a little, though, because you had the box in there, so I had to crop it. So there you go. All right. Yeah, I, I am, I'm a pretty big fan of this one. Um, yeah, it's a hard game, though, uh, in a good way. 
But yeah, some people have gotten it. So well done. Well done. This next one, I think, is going to be probably a little bit harder than this one. Um, yeah, this would be more, probably, I would say top three or four impressive for whoever gets this. Okay? All right, so next one, here we go. Because this one is really hard to get. I think this is only available from like Print and Play Productions, I think. I am really curious. Let me double check that. The Game Crafter, sorry. That's who uh, did this one. That's it. Wow. More of y'all have gotten this than I expected. This is another I have not played. I own. I, I got it, I believe, from my secret elephant a couple years ago. <laughs> PPK, no clue, but please stream it because it looks cool. It's, it's on the list of games, yes. It is not John Company. RGM. Yep, so, some of the folks out there have gotten this. But, I mean, it looks interesting. I, I think it was a really good pick. So, who did this one? Uh, Marty Cabra, I think. Okay, yep. Eric and JT saw this played at HeavyCon last year. Yep. Elaborate on my secret elephant? What do you mean? Uh, the The... Secret Santa exchange, heavy cardboard, each year. Uh, let me see, designer. I will give that one away. Let's see. This is Rick Helly. So there are, there are two games with the same name. This is the one from 2007. Okay. There's another one from 2010, and from everything that I've been told, this is the one that you want to get. I've heard this is an amazingly good game. Exactly. Christopher says, oh, this is a different name of the game than the one I played. Exactly. I don't know that you saw Tom's, I don't know that Tom will have done a review on this one. This is not the, yeah. So, 2007 from the Game Crafter. I think you can still get it from there. I think so. Um, but eventually, when things, when I'm able to have folk, more folks over than just one at a time or two at a time, then we will get this streamed. All right, all right, let's move on. Next one. I... <laughs> I think this is kind of a gimme, um, but just a feel-good story all the way around about this game. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, Game Crafter has it for 65 bucks. There you go. I realize some of these I'm giving away, but that's all right. It's all right. I 
I, I will give a little bit more on this one. This was the first game from SN 2019 that we streamed. Any news on a US version? No, I don't know yet. And if you guys heard the, uh, what, two episodes ago, I think? The one with Ken, uh, episode 144 on the podcast, talked about what one of the, uh, what the uh, publisher sent. That was really cool. That was really, really cool. Not exactly, JT. Nope. Uh, yeah, I can do that, Luke. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the world only knows about this because of heavy cardboard. Not going to lie. I'm really okay with taking some credit on this one. This was awesome. This was cool. A really tiny publisher. Um, they sold out at Essen. We did a pretty good job spreading the word about this one, and the game lived up to it. I thought it was really unique, something different, and really cool, and really happy to have them do really well with this. So that was cool. I got a fever, and the only prescription, more tortoise shell. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys got that one pretty easy. All right, this next one's gonna be pretty easy as well, I think. Chisholm still hits my tail. Yep, I figured it would have. All right. The nicest production of any game put out by this publisher, I think. Yeah, see this one was easy for you guys. I figured that would be. I also think this is the easiest, most approachable of their games. Not easiest to play well necessarily, but approachable. I, I, I think this one, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would argue most of their games are relatively simple rules wise. Refresh Alexander or, or try double speed and that'll probably fix that problem. For anybody that is, try and refresh or hit double speed and that'll catch you up. All right. All right. Well, you guys crushed that, so we'll move on. It does. I mean, this is a 60 to 90 minute game. So. All right. This next one uh, might be tougher. <laughs> oh, or Othello. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, hold on, Paul. That wasn't by the same publisher, though. The hubs kind of can be a bit of a pain, yes. All right, here we go. Next one, uh, we haven't streamed it yet. Also was on the short list to make it on here on uh, in a, April. Not now. I'm pretty sure we reviewed this. I'm looking to see if we did in the first two seasons or if this was just a trailer. Can't remember. I think it was a trailer, but I can't remember where. Lots of wood, the game. Uh-huh.
My favorite of the lesser Wallaces. I think that's a really, really, or smaller Wallaces, I think is a good way to put that. I agree. I agree, Goose Arena. Godzilla eats the island. <laughs> Looks like Maracaibo meets the new edition of Bus. Pasties the underground. <laughs> well done, Franny. I appreciate that. Well done. That is that was subtle, but really good. They're there, RGM, yep. That's okay, we'll be playing. It's okay. We won't judge. It's not a contest. It's just supposed to have fun. Yeah, this is definitely one that I want to get streamed. Um, and Tony actually made a variant on the market that hasn't been thoroughly play tested or anything, but I thought was pretty cool. We'll we'll stream it with the uh, with just the one that's on the board, but I will make note of that. Thought that was pretty cool. So another game that scores like this, not off the top of my head, Goose Arena. This this one's uh, pasties. Sorry, thank you. Yanks, traitors. I know, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, this one's cool. This is a good one. All right. <laughs> it's way down here. Yes. Not going to go there. All right. Oh, we'll be playing. I mean, the whole show. Oh, you. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Next one. This one is a uh, delicate theme to put it. Mildly. Oh, excellent, Franny. That's cool. See, this is the only channel in the world where, like, this is, I feel like this is a gimme to you guys. This super niche publisher, a super niche game of that super niche publisher, and yet, most of you guys get it. Love you guys for that. That's really cool. This is one that you might see me and Andrew do um, in the coming weeks. <laughs> Joe, you're killing me. I thought I knew games. <laughs> that was part of the impetus for this was to be able to highlight and, and kind of, you know, bring attention to some of these that maybe a lot of y'all don't know. <laughs> Settlers of Catan Civil War Edition. Nerds of a feather, exactly. It's definitely a, uh, yeah, I, I, the fact that that card, the artwork on that card is just, yup. Oh, wow. Family, that's cool. Well, it's definitely uh, still in print. This one's available from the publisher, Holland Spiel. So. <laughs> Saving. I've missed 11 so far. Humbly. It's not a contest. It's okay. All right. Yes. Agreed. Gusarino. Gusarino. 
I think the graphic design is by Cole. I don't think, I don't think the artwork is. And the cover is brutal, and I think I applaud them for doing that. I think so. I agree. Exactly. Print on demand never goes out of print. Exactly. All right. You guys got that one pretty well. This next one is. I'm not sure about that. Oh hush. Uh, this next one. I know, I think JT will get this. I don't know how many, uh, Bob maybe and some others, but not many of y'all. Look carefully before you answer on this one. I feel like this was a pretty good representation of what the game is. This is one that I'm chomping at the bit to get up to the table. I don't know how realistic it is to stream anytime in the near future, but I really, I've wanted to play this game for years and it's sitting in the library. Hey Stacy, welcome. If you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumb down below. Whenever we go live, hit the subscribe and notification. That way, whenever we go unpromoted streams, you guys get notified of that. Nope, Netwilk. <laughs> Robert, saving, I've gotten less than you've missed. See, it's all about learning about games. Nope, Brian. Nope. So far, nobody. <laughs> yes, Brianna, exactly. Channeling Martin. By the way, he's doing well. Uh, he and Cindy, they're just, uh, you know, distancing, staying at home, staying safe. So they're good. Most of the crew is, actually. RGM, you at least got the theme right. Wow, so far nobody. This, this is the first one so far. Nobody. Wow, this is kind of fun. Oh, JT doesn't. I think I might have stumped the entire herd. Really? Wow, all right. I will say that the credit on the picture should be you should be able to figure out who it is through that. Now, that's obviously giving you the answer, but if you want, because I, I don't want to say it. Dill Attack? No, it's not. I'm still, I've been waiting for years for that game to come out. This is the first in a series of games that could either be connected or not played as independent games. It's not Columbia Games. Yes, those are the real components. Uh, except maybe the yellow thing in the top right. That I'm not sure. But I, I'm fairly certain the oil barrels look like that. They could be black. I could be wrong on that. Give me a little grace. I did not check my copy. But, all right, fine. If you don't want to hear what it is, Mute this for the next 10 seconds. Ready and mute. All right, this blocks in the east. All right, so uh, there's blocks in the west, there's blocks in Africa, there's a whole bunch of those. All right, there you go. Warren! Well done. Warren saved y'all from me stumping the entire peanut gallery. All right, let's move on. Uh, no, everybody but one. Warren, he got it because there's like a 20 second delay. So I know he posted that before I said it. So well done. Well done. All right. So this next one. Uh... We're going to, hold on. There we go. 
Uh, next one is getting a reprint that you're going to see ahead of Gen Con. Again, all reprint, all printing timelines are written in sand right now, given, but this is going to be coming from, so this was from Mercury Games, and the reprint is coming from Devere. Okay? I do like this picture. They did an excellent job of that. That was definitely one of them that I'm going to need the new camera for, Scott. Yes. <laughs> I know some of y'all are going to be able to get this one. Yeah. What is the full name of the game, though? There we go. You're going to see this later this summer uh, with the new version of it is when we're going to stream it. All right. Yes, Paul. See, we know Paul doesn't listen to the podcast. I'm just saying. Talked about it on there. Some people say this is uh, one of their favorite, or this is some people's best in favorite two-player. Waro. War game meets a Euro hybrid. Oh, you can play this on Board Game Arena. Okay. This is clearly big sorry with circles. Clearly, this is. All right. You guys are doing well. Uh, this next one has almost no standard components. But given what the game is, I think that's both acceptable and it expected. Okay. All right. So here we go. Nothing about this it comes in a box just about. Um, but that's a, that's, a, that's a proper version of the, how that game should be played right there. All right? And I think Andrew will understand and appreciate if this runs a little long, so... See, I wasn't sure if this would be really easy or way too out there. <laughs> Deluxified by Eagle Griffin. Again, nothing is standard on this we'll be playing. Just saying. Okay. So, but this one I just wanted to include because this was fun. But you guys nailed it. That, that's good. And that is an amazing pitch. Uh, yeah, that's just proper. All right. This is a Super Bowl or Superb Owl. Look at all the little things. They're so cute. Yes. That is, that's a proper uh, pitch, I think. All right. <laughs> Tears to many ogres, yes. Uh, all right. Um, this one's going to be tough. In fact, I would argue... All but one <laughs> from here out, I think, are going to be tough. Um, so a lot of y'all are not going to get them. So here we go. <laughs> this game doesn't have standard. You're fair. True. All right. All right. So here we go.
<laughs> Christopher, the only thing standard in that game is me complaining about how few star players I can choose from this team. Okay, this was easier than I expected it to be for y'all. There, there were tougher pictures that I could have gotten on this, but I thought this represented it pretty well. Drew says, busted this out the other night. Nice. I think I'm going to start with uh, the sequel to the, the follow-up game to this and then work my way back to this one when we uh, stream it, but all right. <laughs> Mancala. <laughs> Yes, the rocks are clutch for recognizing what the game is. Yes, agreed. And the one that Family McManus just mentioned is the one that I'm going to start the streams with, as far as between the two of them, that one or this one. So, all right. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying this, Kiesel. Yeah, it seems a lot of you guys are enjoying this. If you are, don't forget, like, give it a thumb, please. Give it a thumb. Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to support the show, go to pledgehc.com. I appreciate this. Yes, I was talking about this recently, Gusarino. Yep. And also, that would have been a fair guess, I think, Eric. All right, good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this tonight, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. All right, let's keep moving. Like I said, all of these are going to be tough, some tougher than others, um, but I think... Given the audience, I think this next one you guys will be able to get probably more than any other audience in the world. The back of the box just wins on this. If you've never read the back of the box, find a picture of it and read it. Or get a copy of this even better. You you can blame me, Kizzo. I'll, I'll I'll take it. She she can send me an ugly email. It's okay. Franny, same. Okay. See, only 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 you guys would just nail this without a doubt. Like, look at this. Yeah, the essay on the back of the box is amazing. It really is. I I love you guys so much. Like, in theory, this would be hard. No, you guys are killing it. I would love to be able to stream this. And I, it, it, everything that you see on this here today, just about everything, I want to stream at some point. There's going to be one game I'm never going to be able to get a copy of that won't happen. Probably, uh, and you probably won't see the one with the f really fancy pitch on here, but outside of that. <laughs> no, no, not Foster's, which n you guys don't drink that down there. You guys drink, uh, oh God, I have, uh, I have some of the rum, Luke, from when I was in Australia, uh. Bundaberg, right? Is that it? Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> Correct, Meeple Overboard. Um, it's, not, it's not warped. It should, yeah, maybe, but... There were other pictures, but a lot of them are like for print and play versions and new uh, like uh, component. I wanted to keep it straight, so there we go. Well, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad could entertain a little bit, NBO. That probably is not going to happen either, Paul. Eventually, I, now that I have patrons down in, in Australia, I probably, I, I've had a bottle of Bundaberg rum since 
2000, when I was there, probably ought to drink it and try it. Rum doesn't go bad. It's rum, right? So, hmm, it's a 20-year-old bottle of <laughs> Bundaberg rum. Uh, see, and this is, this is the herd. We'll be playing, says, when we played this at a board game cafe, other people were playing games like Blood Rage, Scythe, and whatnot, and there was us in the back corner playing a five-player game. Pure stock manipulation. There you go. Awesome, MBO. Well, yeah, awesome, but you know what I mean. It's like mother is milk to some. Oh, I knew that, Luke. I knew about that beer, actually. And where, where are you exactly, if you don't mind me saying, because I've been to, we were deployed to Rockhampton. We were in Rocky. Noted on the Four Pines. All right. All right, let's go. Uh, next. From everything, I have not played either edition of this game, but everything I've been told says this is the only version of the game that I should play and it's the better of the two versions. Sitting in the in the library right now. Both of them actually are, but this is the one that I most want to get played. There you go, family. Yeah, see? Oh, oh wow. Okay. And Rockhampton's about four hours north of Brisbane, I think. I'm a Marine, Rocky. Uh, I got out three days before 9-11. Exactly, MBO, you got it, you understand. <laughs> Gusarino, I dig it. Incorrect for those that are saying second edition. This is the first edition. Ah, eight hours. My bad, my bad. I know. Rockhampton's north. I know. It's okay. It's all right. I know. Yeah, eight hours, not four, but yeah. Sherlock Holmes meets Cthulhu by Martin Wallace. Nailed it. Interesting, Scott. All right. He says he really disliked this version of it and, and never bothered trying the second edition. Okay, fair. Okay. Overall, well done. All right, I misspoke. There's one more that I think you guys will be able to get pretty well. We'll just go ahead and move it up to where you guys get that, and then I'm just going to crush you the rest of the way. Ah, there might be two. Yeah, the next two. Eldritch Monopoly. <laughs> All right. So, you guys got it. Let's go to the next one. Um, along with another game that was earlier on this list, arguably uh, the best three player game in existence. Three player only. This one. Mycroft the Fungi from Whitehall. <laughs> I 
This game should be far more popular than it is. Oh, still unplayed. Ah, oh, that hurts me. You get three players and play that soon when things settle down, RGM. Take care, Murr. For those that don't know, today is day 1959 of consecutive games or days with a game played, board game played with Murr. 1959. Amazing. I guess there's Churchill as well. Which has no good pictures of Churchill. So I didn't put that on the list. Um, Churchill, this, and the game earlier. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Forgot about Churchill. Yeah, those are all excellent. Recently sold out at publisher level. Okay. Did not know that. Yeah, that's that's beyond Iron Man. That's insane. All right. Here we go. Uh, this next one I think some of y'all will get. This is the weirdest game I think I've ever played um, in a sense that the last round is its own animal. It's completely different than the rest of the game that you've played. So, there's only one other game that is completely weird like this to where it's so disconnected from the rest of the game that you played. And this is going to be a mother bear to teach. But I'm looking forward to streaming this one as well. I am Joe. Looking forward to Versailles 1919. Yes, Gusarino. I started doing that mer started doing it, and then I tapped out after some amount of days, and Murr has not. Brianna understood. There's very few that are three-player specific, but again, don't pigeonhole again. Like, the reason they made it three players only, uh, the last one, is because that is how they designed it. I'm okay with that. Like, not every game should be played at various player counts. But it's a very select group, right? PPK, you nailed it. Correct, Eric. That is Steph's pick. Yes. <laughs> it's like chaos. But in a really bright way. Those colors are just way too happy. It is not a happy game, actually. Uh, but I get that. Yes. Yes, Vincent. We did. I want to stream this once things chill out. That is spot on, Alex. You can. Mariano has a very certain particular flair for certain things. Yes. <laughs> uh, Andrew just messaged me, says, hey, you want to let me know when to come over? Because <laughs> you're still streaming. Uh, yeah. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go after this. All right. I haven't played enough Triumph and Tragedy, but yes, that is also fair. But I wouldn't put it on par with those, I'll be honest. All in due time, MBO. Blame Corona for this one. All right, now they get hard. You've been warned. Here we go. 
Some of y'all will get this. I understand that, but I think most of y'all will not. All right. Um, while we're at it, while you guys are struggling with this, uh, so the contest, giveaway. Not really a contest, just a giveaway. Um, so I mentioned the word earlier at the, towards the beginning of the stream. If you don't have it, go back and listen to it. Uh, email me, contact at heavycardboard.com. Subject line specifically needs to be name, game, giveaway. All right? Put the secret word. It's the only thing you got to do is put the secret word in there and make my life easy. Put your name in there. That's it. Okay? And then I'm going to pick six or so winners. And for my amusement, put how many you got right. Be honest. I'm curious. There's no, like, you don't get any extra entries. It's just one per person, whether you got zero or whether you got them all. Um, but if you got them all, I think you're lying. Not going to lie. Uh, so the games I'm going to be giving away. Uh, Teo Teo Han. Hannibal, the new version. Wildcatters, the original version. Uh, Capital, City of Ruins, Eminent Domain, a deluxe version of Crusaders, Thy Will Be Done. Maybe one or two others. So there you go. Contact at heavycardboard.com with the secret word. Subject line, name, game, giveaway. You have until Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern to get it in, and I'll pick winners on Sunday, and I'm going to send them out on Monday because I'm keeping myself accountable for that. There you go, provided you guys get me your addresses as well that quickly. All right, there you go. <laughs> we'll be playing. Oh, now they get hard. <laughs> war game. The war game. Eric nailed it. Yes. Adam's just showing off now. Well done. One word. I'm not going to. It make my life easier if you guys did do it specific. Name, game, giveaway. Just so I could search my emails for it. That make my life a lot easier. Not going to lie. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. But there were a number of folks that got that one. Well, the good news is, Kabuki, you can go back and listen for it. All right, next one. Um, no, I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to move that one down a little. Uh, move that one down a little. They're all hard at this point. All right, next one. Here we go. Arguably my favorite picture of board games or in board games. Already got my first entry. You guys don't mess around, do you? All right, here we go. If you've played this game with me before on Twitter, you may recognize this picture. I've used this one every time I've played this game. Now, it's been a number of years since I've done this on Twitter, but nonetheless, this is another game I've never played that I really want to play that I have. It is cynical. That is the word I was looking for earlier that I could not think of. This is a very cynical game that I've heard is really good with like five players, I think. That's going to happen at some point, Chris. Don't worry. Lineup of shame. Bad dog. <laughs> oh. I would be somewhat impressed if anybody gets this. Is this Meeple Walk the Pupper? Yes. Who let the dog out? Conga line. Be nice, Paulo. Oh, wow, and all just, now, now, now the number of watchers just crushed. That's all right. Wow, nobody. Nope, Drew. Nope, Vincent. It is not Spielworksy. 
Does the dog have anything to do with it? Not really. It's just artwork on the on the board. It has a fourth leg. I'm looking at it. It has a fourth leg. No, the dog's name is not Stumped. JT. <laughs> wow, nobody. Wow. Do you guys want... You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Instead of saying it, this is what I should have done earlier. Is I will type the link. Uh, I don't know if they're more difficult, but this, is, this one's pretty hard. Not going to lie. Um... This one is, the, the title is uh, not in English. But, wow, nobody. All right. Doxinopoly. Uh, wow. Merchants of Doxins. <laughs> So that yeah, it's not a common game. I mean, this is this is definitely an obscure one. All right. So all right, here here's the link. There you go. All right. Wow. So it took however many to stump you guys. And if you, if you look in the alternative names, alternate names, the fifth one down is what it is, translates in English. Eric, yep. Definitely want to stream this at some point. Oh, I want to play it first off. And uh, so there you go. That's kind of my thing, though, to a point, Chris, right? All right, so let's keep going. <laughs> Polo knew this because Rado did a video of it. Be honest. Be honest, Polo. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Uh, this next one is, you know what? I'm not going to give any hints. Um, I will see how you guys do first, all right? The shape of the wooden pieces should be a giveaway for part of it as well. And this one's tough, not gonna lie. Is actually the second picture of this game that I, I chose to use. The first, I thought this was a better representation than the first one. Exactly, we'll be playing, right? I mean, isn't that why we play board games, right? Now, this uh, RGM, it could have been one of two. I went with the easier of the two, by the way. I started with the harder one, and that was too mean. There was, there was a correct guess on this. <laughs> Rocky. Uh, yes, I don't know if it's three player only. Um, let me double check that on this one. I don't, 
I think it is actually. Yes, it is three player only. And I started out with the four player only version of this and I was like, that's just too mean. Because I have them both, but no. <laughs> Habsburgs and McCoys. Uh, all right, two people have gotten this correct. All right. Correct, RGM, and I started with the fourth player one, and that would have been impossible for anybody to get, I think. Um, yep, Net Netwilk nailed it, as did, as did Scott. So, all right, well done. You guys have saved it for the herd. Who else got this? Uh, so it was Netwilk, Scott, by default, I would say, got this. And Adam. Yes, it had a completely different ga name that I pronounce and butcher it, I'm sure, in English versus how you actually say it in Polish. Um, all right, take care, Joe. All right, here we go. There is a certain person that lives in Boston that is a huge fan of this game and therefore is always in the first look area I think or is always in the library at PAX. PAX East, PAX Unplugged, stuff like that. All right. Thanks Joe, you too. All right. Wow. Wow. Color me in. Wow. I really didn't expect you guys to know this. My bad. Sorry to give you guys a little credit. I apologize. It is not Castle Panic. I will say that. I've heard that this is a legitimately good game. Um, I have it in the library. I haven't gotten to it. And when, uh, when Rand is available and we're able to get together, then uh, this will be on the short list of games to uh, stream with him. <laughs> RGM knows it, says, there's absolutely no re good reason for me to know this, never played it, no interest in it, but nailed it. Jack-o-lantern in an eggplant. <laughs> All right, so it's all Josh or all Rand's fault on this one, huh? All right. Oh, I did not know that was it, uh, the translation. I did not know because I have both versions. I thought it, yeah. Thanks for learning me that, Netwilk. <laughs> Scott, okay, I finally got my picture back. No clue on this one. I did better without the picture, which is true because he got the last one without the picture. Oh. And Scott says, this is the most fun I've had in a game in quite some time. So, yeah, I want to play this. <laughs> I'm going to butcher this. This is absolutely a Polish name, though. Is it... Uh, Prismek? Prismek? Uh, says, I did not actually recognize the name, what the name of the game was, from the picture. But it looks so depressing that the name of the game jumped to mine right as you posted the link. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Did not know that. Book written by Norman Davies. All right, cool. All right. So we have... One, two, three. Three left. I, I think all three are going to be really hard. Some of you guys will get probably all of them, but I think they're pretty hard for the majority of y'all. All right? This so next one was a grail and technically still is for a while. It's not the greatest picture. It's really hard. to. There's not a lot of pictures out there for this. But this came up 
during the Ask the Elephant not too long ago, last week, I guess it was. It is, I think it's available, not either print and play or, let me look. Yeah, I don't know if it's print on demand, maybe it could be, I'm not sure. It is not Harold Lee Ski Art. Deficit of Smiles, the dice game. It is not Virsin das Volk. Politician Zoom meeting. <laughs> Joe nailed this one. Yeah, um, this is about the cocaine trade. Uh, it's very niche. Designer's Nate Hayden. Nate Hayden does some really absolutely unique designs. Hey, Paul. Well, we got two more after this. Gusarino, I've hit a cold streak. Like I said, these were going to get hard. I know. Um, some of these are just fun for me to put in here, but some, I mean, like, last one, uh, you know, the previous one. And I, I mean, I've heard really good things about all of these games in some capacity. All right. A few acres of blow. Exactly. <laughs> Kiesel, will there be another episode of the name game? Uh, name that game. You know, if you guys, you guys seem to really have enjoyed this, so potentially uh, later on, maybe next month, late April, if this is still going on like this. I was going to say, there are literally two Mexican flags in the picture. Yup. A, <laughs> a few acres of snow also does work. All right. Uh, so this next one is my number one grail game of all time. I realize I'm never going to get it. That gives it away for some of you guys. But don't answer. If you give it, if you know it from that, don't answer. I want to see if anybody actually knows the game just from the game itself. It is pretty, ain't it? You cheated, Eric. <laughs> this, to me, is the definition of what a Grail game should be. There are like 200 copies in existence. When they do become available, they're like 400 bucks a piece. It's nothing I would ever pay for like that. But... I've even heard it's not even really that good a game, but oh my, just, that's purdy. <laughs> the new game from the Teotihuacan designer, uh, Daniel Tassini, uh, uh, Takanu, no, this is not, they both, they both feature obelisks though, but. <laughs> the fifth element at the Washington Monument. You nailed it. How'd you know, Irene? Nailed it. Josh says it's a couple people's grail game I, that I know. Yep. One, one sitting right here. 
This definitely is. So if money is not an object to you, um, and you happen to find a copy of this and want to just gift it to me, I will happily accept it. However, if money is not an object, please become a patron <laughs> or an angel investor in heavy cardboard. More, I want that more than I want this, but I'm just saying, all right? Yeah, this is definitely not a Giza. Nor is it took a pill in a Biza. Anyway. Yeah, see? Chris gets it. Says, my grail game is spin ball. A stupid ping pong ball spinning game handmade by one guy in his garage somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> the new Azul sequels are getting pretty weird. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, some of you guys have gotten it. Um, so, yeah. That is, that is the correct answer. And there are like seven different versions of that. Um, I will mention who the, who the publisher is on this one. They are long extinct, Theta. They also did Saturn Fire, uh, which is on the shelf over there that hangs out up there. Fire just because it, it's a cool looking piece. So, yeah. Yeah, the, my grail game. This is my number one grail game. All right, and the final one. I think I feel like you will have had to have played this to know this one. Um, but yeah. There you go. It's the last one. Yes, it's made of Theta Stone. That is correct, that game. Three thumbs away from 100, just saying. Anybody? Some of y'all will have played this, so you're going to know this one. We originally were supposed to play this to be able to record a game of it last Saturday, a week ago last Saturday, but unfortunately, didn't work out. Yep, see, some of you guys got it. And some folks asked, where are all the 18xx games? I figure I'd end with one. Set in space. <laughs> Chalk it up. You got a glory to Rome. All right. Make me update the board for tomorrow's stream. There we go. Nice, spelled in piecemeal. This is one part of the periodic table. <laughs> Vincent, last nine, all fails. I told you they were going to be hard. <laughs> Drew, damn it. Now I need to update the email I just sent. It's okay. I'll add a plus one for you, Drew. I saw the email. All right, so there you go. That was fun. Um, at least I had fun. So hopefully you guys did. It seemed like y'all did. It was a blast. I didn't know if this would go over well, but it seems to have gone over, at least for those watching live, everybody seemed to really enjoy it. So thank you guys. That was fun for me. Andrew, I apologize for delaying our, our game tonight, um, but we'll be all right. We'll be able to get through it. Uh, yeah, there you go. That was a lot of fun. Like I said, last time I did this was a couple years ago. Um, shoot, it must have been three years ago, two and a half, three years ago uh, on Twitter when work was really, really slow. This is back before um, I was doing this full time. So I thought I'd bring it here since I wasn't able to do the stream because the game really kind of requires five players. Um, and I thought we'd be able to get away with it with me versus you kind of with but didn't work out that way. So there you go. That was good stuff, guys. Um, Robert says, uh, well, Edward, 11 isn't a great score. It's not, but A, you had fun, and B, 
maybe you learned some new games to check out, right? So, yeah, and Chris says, that was awesome, glad we entertained each other for a long while. Exactly, right? Made my Tuesday better, hopefully it made y'all's better. Uh, it's one less day we got to deal with uh, everything that's going on outside the, uh, outside the walls, right? So, um, on a serious note, Adam, you are the second person that I know personally, kind of, uh, that has fallen ill with COVID, so take care of yourself. Heal, rest up, take it easy. Let us know that you're getting better. Keep us in the loop, please. Um, good news uh, for those that didn't hear. Banker Dave's son, Joel, uh, he had contracted COVID. He is on his way to recovery, and he's on his, like, 14 days post-symptoms, so he's getting better as well. So this is no joke, people. This is something we're taking very seriously, and I say that, and I'm having somebody over tonight. I know some of you guys think that's nuts, um, but Andrew hasn't seen anybody outside his family in weeks. I have not, outside of my postman, um, and like a trip to the grocery store, and I guess I went to the takeout at Outback. Outside of that, and Jess. Um, so we're doing a really good job of taking care of our end of the social distancing. Make sure that you guys are as well. If people take this serious, this thing will go get, it's still going to get worse before it gets better, but do what we can to do our part, but also keep the show going, which is very much secondary, if not tertiary, I understand. So thank you everybody for entertaining me as well and keeping this going because it's you and me. That's the company I got right now. So I really do appreciate it. Uh, so again, give it thumbs. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumb. It takes a second. Bloop. Done. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell. Whenever we go notify, uh, you will get notified whenever I go live since almost everything I do is live. Most of it I announce on Twitter and everywhere else. Some of it I don't though. So that's why you want to go ahead and hit that bell notification. And last but not least, this has been a hell of a comeback. I really appreciate this, guys, because it's been a rough few weeks for all of us. Don't get me wrong, but also uh, content creators. Um, I rely on y'all, and I am very, very grateful for the support. And I know how tight money is, and I know how tough and how difficult things can be. So I appreciate you guys supporting the show. Um, and if you can't do it there on PledgeHC.com, spread the word on BGG, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook, on, I would say word of mouth, but I guess, like, anywhere you guys play games or talk about games, spread the word about the show. That is really invaluable. So I really appreciate it. All right? So that was a lot of fun. So good. All right? Oh, and Chisholm's youngest sister is in and out of the hospital with it here in Mass. So positive thoughts to her as well, Chisholm. All right? Stay safe. Have a good night. I'm going to go set up hands in the sea and message Andrew and come over now. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon for Escape Tales Low Memory. See y'all at noon. I'll have a link for you tonight. All right. Take care, everybody. That was a good time. That was really, really good. All right. Thanks, Irene.